the famous old carburetor, Stromberg 97. But if you look at the size of that carburetor, to that, they run out of fuel too quickly, they just haven't got big enough jets in them. Fine for like a flathead V8, which is a smaller engine. These big old straight eights, they need a, a lot of fuel going through them, you know? This is, this is the Buick Series 40 Super, is that right? Yeah, 1947. Cylinder head, number one piston had no compression, so it was a burnt valve, so we've had the head off. Sent it off to get new valves and new guides, but it had a crack in it, so that's then been sent off to get the crack welded, and then that's now back with the engineers having the valves and the guides done. So it was so caked in grease and goo from probably where the crack was, just walk, leaking water down all the time and oil. So it's all been jet washed off, obviously got to clean the bores back out, oil it all up, all the lifters have had to come out. Fuel pump, the original fuel pump didn't work so I've rebuilt that. The sump had about two inches of crud in the bottom of it, so that to take sump off, but after you jet washed it you need to do that anyway. So they've all been cleaned. Oil pump's been rebuilt. The gauze in the bottom of that, there's a gauze in there. That was solid. So how the hell it was sucking oil up, I do not know. Timing chain was knackered. Front oil seal was knackered, so I changed the oil seal. New timing chain, new cogs. Normally when you set up timing gear, on a normal engine, if you see that circle there, mm -hmm. and that dot there, Normally when you set up a, a normal engine, they face each other. So your cams, are, your cranks at top dead centre, yeah? Yeah. And those two no line up. This <coughs> was for your camshaft timing. On an, on a, like I say, on a normal, later style engine. But on one of these, you need, see these are two dark links? Yeah. So you set one, on your circle mark there and then you put that one so it's on that one I think it's that one and they both face so that's the bottom of the engine so they both face to the right hand side and you count your links between I can't remember where it's 9 or 10 now I think it's 10 yeah, and that's that's how you time the cam up on one of these as opposed to... So you could put that on there thinking it's that to that and make a very big mess of the engine. Yeah. Bit of a sorry statement. But the thing is, it was running on seven cylinders and it actually didn't run that bad. So it should be bloody marvellous by the time we finished. New side cover gasket, new rocker cover gasket, new head gasket, new manifold gaskets, new sump gasket, new fan belt, two new water pipes. New core plugs, took the core plugs out to flush the block. Water pump's okay, just needs a bit more of a clean up. Radiator's okay, that's been rebuilt. The exhaust was damaged, I've got to do some stuff with that. Got a new throttle pedal, so that's worn out. Pedal covers. Yeah, just generally clean it all up, wait for the head to come back. Get it all back together. I've done the manifold now, I can show you that in the other workshop in a minute. Distributor I'll take apart and rebuild. Taken all the interior out of it because it was all. I think it. Had, I think they used it as a submarine. It was like it'd been underwater. It was so wet in there. It was ridiculous. It's, uh, it's all drying out now, but it is a genuine old survivor. If you know what I mean. It, it's, it's never worth, been worth touched. doing. Yeah, but just leave it as it is. You know. Get the valeting girl to give it a polish. I mean, it's all gone through and stuff, but it's not rusty, rusty at all. But I. I Personally, I'd just leave it alone. Rebuilt all the windscreen wipers, all the cables were fallen out of that. Redone a lot of the electrics, got to change a few switches in the dash. Got the radio working. The brakes work okay, so there's no point in looking at them. So just a matter of cleaning now and then 
I'll have to get underneath it later and get myself really filthy underneath and get all the crap out the bottom of the engine. And, but uh, it can't possibly have any more crap in it than was in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an impossibility. <laughs> so there your rocker arms, they've all been refaced because what happens is they, that pushes the valve up and down in the cylinder head. Obviously this is upside down, yeah? So that hits that all the time. What you end up with is a dent in here. So when you're trying to set, these are 15 thou across the board. So that's 15 thou, yeah? So what you do is, when you adjust your tappets, you undo that lock nut, undo that screw, and that widens your gap. So if that was on there, yeah? You want to get 15 thousandths of an inch in between there, yeah? yeah? So you adjust it so that's a nice tight fit, or a good fit, you know? But if you think, if that had a dent in it, where that's been hitting it for years and years and years, yeah? yeah. You put that 15 thou in there, and it's sitting on the edges, but not where the dent is. Yeah. So you end up with a non, it's not a true reading. So you think you've got 15 thou, you adjust it to that, and then that'll fall down in the dent, which is why you reface them. So that's been done. Rebuilt the fuel pump and vacuum pump. Both the diaphragms were shot, but luckily I had one of those in stock, the rebuild kit. Got a new old stock carburetor. So that's been done. I've built the choke pipe for it, the heat exchanger pipe for the choke. None of this fitted properly, all the gaskets are blown. Normally what happens is you've got um that bolts to that, and that is your heat exchanger. So when it's cold, that flap there stays there. So the exhaust gases go into that chamber, but it deflects them up into this chamber here to heat the carburetor base. Okay. So it makes it more efficient for warm up. But when that gets hot, that's a bimetallic spring and it just shoves that the other way. So then the exhaust gases go straight out. They don't circulate around the carb body or the carb the base manifold. Um, that was sea solid, which they normally are, so you have to free them up. New old stock carb because it had the wrong carburetor on it. It had one of these. Yes, famous old carburetor, Stromberg 97. If you look at the size of that carburetor, to that, they run out of fuel too quickly, they just haven't got big enough jets in them. Fine for like a flathead V8, which is a smaller engine, these big old straight eights, they need a, a lot of fuel going through them, you know. It's all good, really. Next week on the workshop. Oh. Can you see anything from there? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> 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 I would turn the car upside down, it would be a little easier. Yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs>